guys, I just got Daisy back out again real quick. And I'm going to tell you, if you've got one like this, do a session, put it back, and get it back out because it'll do the same behavior. So that's kind of the booger barking. Though it's a much more toned down version. And if you said what is it, it's really just unsureness stuff. I mean, she barks at things she's afraid of. You know, our job is to help her become more confident. You can't really correct it. But you can correct it by virtue of the fact we've always, always said we didn't want the leash made tight. So, oh boy, here comes some jerk wad, swinging his hands, clapping his hands. She's going to bark at this guy for sure. So, yeah, see? Ooh, ooh. Daisy! where you've got to be. If you don't have that, you're screwed. You see this guy? This is this guy walking along. Who does that? It's like these annoying men that walk along whistling. It's so annoying. If you're one of those people that do that, please stop. You don't like it. So, what I can see with this dog, yeah, and that's why you're doing an invisible leash. I mean, this dog is not saying to itself right now, the leash is gone at all. Crazy. This is what I'm going to do. This, if you said compact your body, there I go. You know, everything about me is compacted. I'm not arms swinging. Very tight. Daisy. Heel. If you said what, she went after that bug. Here we go. because you've got the you've got the seated handler but I'm still ready if you said what's your what would your move be get in get it in motion anyway stuff so she's doing amazing but I'm I'm directing everything I'm not saying gosh she's gonna listen to me Daisy I can bring her right back Daisy if you don't have that, you're screwed. You're never going to get them off leash. Anyway, guys, I will be right back. Daisy! Be right back. 